Welcome to Grumblings of a Gaming Grunyard. I'm Tom. Race is a major grouping in which humankind is considered to be divided on the basis of physical characteristics or shared ancestry. In the real world, different races of the same species are capable of mating to produce offspring and regularly do. A species, on the other hand, is a group of living organisms consisting of similar individuals capable of exchanging genes or interbreeding. In the real world, different species usually do not mate, but when they do, their offspring will be what are called hybrids. The molecules of DNA in each of the creature's cells hold instructions that often prohibit hybrids from performing very well. While a dungeon master can adjust their world in any way they want, rules as written, few of the player's handbook races can mate and produce offspring. With that, I would argue that the D&D races are not races at all, but in fact, different species. Why do I make this distinction important? The world has changed dramatically since D&D was introduced in the mid-1970s. While racism should never have been and never be tolerated, the concept of inherent conflict between the D&D races was previously perceived in a different light. It was okay for the Tolkien-esque dwarves and elves to not get along. It was okay to kill orcs and goblins on sight. A dragonborn and tiefling might have been considered aberrations from the monster manual or from the fiend folio for those who remember that awesome tome. While the world in which we live has changed, the label we apply to D&D humans, dragonborns, elves, dwarves, tieflings, and to a lesser extent half-elves and half-orcs, many creatures in the monster's manual, etc., etc., has not. Rules as written, they are still referred to as races. Why is this problematic? If you're a dog lover, it's okay to hate cats. They're not tabaxi. Whatever your pet preference, it's okay to hate the other type of pets. It's okay because they're not different races. They're different species. By and large, they can't successfully breed, and many probably wouldn't do it on their own anyway. If you find the smell of pet birds offensive, that's okay. They're not Aarakocra. I hope I pronounced that correctly. If you don't like alligators or crocodiles, that's okay. They're not dragonborn. If you hate lizards and snakes, that's okay, they're not lizard folk. Tinklings or Yanti, bottom line. On some level, it's okay to dislike a species. Having said that, it's never okay to hate another human being because of some inherent attribute. It's never okay to hate someone because they are a different race. As humans, we, or those with a, a modicum of common sense, have come to realize that it is diversity that makes us stronger. Sure, there still is progress to be made, but we can still hate dogs and cats and birds and alligators and snakes, and that's okay. It's not okay to hate one another as humans. As such, I would argue that it's still okay to have conflict between D&D &D humans, dragonborn, dwarves, elves, tieflings, because they are not different races. They should not have been called races at all. While some do not, many campaigns still have different regions where the different species reside. Often there is a, a dwarven nation, an elf nation, an orc region, etc., etc. Furthermore, in many a game, characters still attack owlbears, giants, etc. on sight. That said, there's even some discussion regarding making undead into a D&D &D race. So, why is it okay to hate and immediately attack them, but not the player's handbook races? By the way, 
I've taken this concept to an extreme in a campaign in which I play as a player. Whatever we encounter, I now refuse to immediately attack unless combat is inevitable or there is just no way to parlay. My character has parlayed with grung, bullywogs, a giant ogre, gelatinous cubes, and many others, much to what I believe to be the chagrin of the party Furbolg, Tiefling, and Yonti player characters, many, except that of the gelatinous cubes, ended in parlay. We had to burn the cubes. So why should we immediately attack and kill a monster manual race or species when it is inappropriate for hatred among the D&D character races or species? It's okay because they're not really different races. They are different species. In the end, much of the problem can be eliminated by separating the concepts of race and species. If they can't breed, then they are definitely different species. Even if they can breed, they may not be the same species. In doing so, one can almost eliminate much of the inherent racial bias in the game. In my game, the humans, dragonborn, dwarves, elves, tieflings are not different races. They are different species. I'm mature enough to know and not draw a correlation between D&D and real life. I'm not worried that a dislike of a species in D&D will carry over into a dislike of a race in real life. For those who are, why haven't you changed the label yet? I will end my diatribe there. Please like and subscribe and roll a seven-sided die. Thank you.